this video is going to be very helpful for the ICSC 7th grade student to solve their sums based on ratio and proportion so today we are going to solve the chapter number 6 exercise 6 to be for standard 7th so let's see how to solve so first of all we'll discuss about what is the ratio a ratio is what the relationship between the two quantities and of the same kind with the same units and it is obtained by dividing the first with the second one for example 5 kilogram and divided with the 10 kilogram they are both are having the same units so this relation is actually known with kilogram and kilogram will cancel 5 ones of 5 5 to the 10 so this is 1 over 2 or we can say 1 ratio 2 this is 1 ratio 2 so it means we put the this dot sign is it these two dots are there so this is known as the ratio right this means the ratio so these are the two ratios these are the two quantities that are compared by putting the dots between them is it so we read it 1 ratio 2 right this answer we are reading it like this 1 ratio 2 these two dots so uh, for the ratio that the two quantity must be of same kind is it the unit must be same and the ratio is a pure number it's not having any unit and this first number in the ratio is called the innocent incident and second number is called the consequent right this is called the antecedent and this second number is called the consequent so this you have to remember so in in the ratio incident and cause consequent are the co prime numbers right they are co prime then ratio is a pure number it's not having any unit so ratio must be always expressed in the lowest simplest form means if we are writing 8 over 16 then it must not be written as 8 ratio 16 it can be written as 8 1 the 8 8 2 the 16 it must be written as 1 ratio 2 in the lowest simplest form so this is something about the ratio so then the ratio is this time it's, it's not in there in the syllabus so we are having the proportion now proportion so we will see what is proportion when the four quantities are later and the ratio between the first and the second quantities is equal to the ratio between the third and the fourth quantities then the ratio is said to be in proportion so proportional means the equality of the two ratios right for example if we say a ratio b then double ratio this is this is the equality sign or proportion sign is it c ratio d right this is called the proportion each quantity in the red proportion is called the term this is called the first term and this one is the second term this one is the third term and this is called the fourth term it is called the first proportion also second proportion third proportion and fourth proportion so every proportion the product of the extreme these two positions a first and fourth position this is called the extreme positions as we have done in the case yes, of simple pendulum also these are called the extreme positions and these two in between b and c are called the mean positions so product of extreme means a into d is always equal to b into c product of extreme is equal to product of mean product of extreme is equal to product of mean so that you have to remember something about the 
the portion also product of extreme is equal to product of me product of me so this is something you have to remember about the proportion then we have the continued proportion continued proportion so what is the continued proportion Continu continued proportion so three quantities are to be in the continued proportion if the ratio between the first and the second quantity is equal to the ratio between the second and the third quantity right if a b c are the third quantities three quantities is it and the ratio is less just like this a ratio b is equal to b ratio c means b is repeated here is it so this is called the continued proportion is it so if i write this continued proportion in this way a this is one ratio a ratio b means a over b and b ratio c means b over c so this by cross multiplying this will become b square is equal to a into c or b is equal to square root of a c so this way we can calculate the continued proportion the mean proportion so when we are calculating the mean proportion then we can calculate in this way so third quantity is called or the third term is called the third proportional so based on this we are going to solve these these uh, sums based on this so very first in the exercise exercise 6b first we don't have any syllabus then we have the second one find the fourth proportional so fourth proportional means so we have to find the fourth term so let fourth proportional fourth proportional is equal to x we are going to solve first one so it is 3 ratio 12 ratio double ratio we can say 4 ratio x so this is the fourth proportional so that means 3 over 12 is equal to 4 over x so by cross multiplying this will become 3x is equal to 12 into 4 and 3x is equal to 48 x is equal to 48 over 3 so x means it means x is 16 so fourth proportional in this case will be 16 so this is how you have to solve this one the first one we can do any one among this we can do the product of extreme is equal to product of mean so that will also be same and that way also we can do so fourth proportional we can do the second one also 5 ratio 9 double ratio 45 ratio x so fourth proportional we have consumed that here it is x so we can do it like this also the product of extreme is equal to the product of mean is it either this way or either we can do in this way also 5 over 9 is equal to 45 over x so by cross multiplying this will remain same only 5x is equal to 9 into 45 and x will be 9 into 45 over 5 5 ones are 5 5 nines are 45 so x is equal to 81 so this is the second one then we have third one 1 into 1 over 2 ratio 3 into 1 over 4 sorry this is the first question actually third one is 2.1 1 
डबल रेशो 8.4 then that the four proportional is x here so it is 2.1 over 1.5 is equal to 8.4 over x so 2.1 into x is equal to 8.4 into 1.5 so x is equal to 8.4 into 1.5 over 2.1 So it will be 84 into 15 and over 21. So this 84, if we remove this decimal, then here we have to multiply with 10. And 15, we have to remove the decimal, we have to multiply 10 here. And in same way, 21, we have to remove the decimal, we have to multiply here with the 10. So this 10 cancel. 21 forza 84 and this will be 2 to the 4, 5 to the 10, then 5 1 is a 5, 5 3 is a 15. So x will be 3 into 2, that is 6. So this will be the answer. Then we have fourth one. Fourth is 1 over 3. Okay, one of this fourth one you can do. I, I, I can solve the fifth one. Four hours, sixty minutes. Four hours, sixty minutes. Then the ratio. One hour, ten minutes. Then double ratio. Sixteen hours. Ratio x third fourth portion we have to assume there is the x so this should be in the same units so this we can make it minutes also 4 r means 4 into 60 plus 60 will be added in this because we are we are going to convert into minutes so this will be 60 minutes in 1 hour then plus 10 minutes will be added then this will be equal to 16 r means 16 into 60 ratio x means here we have converted all the things into minutes so this will be 240 plus 60 and ratio 70 and this will be equal to 0 6 6 uh, 36 and ratio x so this will be 240 plus 60, 300. Ratio 70 is equal to 960. Ratio x. So this will be 300 over 70 is equal to 960 over x. So here by cross multiplying, x will be 300 into x will be equal to 960 into 70 so x will be 960 into 70 over 300 so two zeros cancel three ones are three three two is a six thirty two so x is equal to seven two is a fourteen one seven three is a this is two forty plus sixty three hundred The 4 hours 40 minutes here it is 4 hours 40 minutes so it will be 40 so this will become 280 here it will be 280 it will be 280 here 
20 over 70 then give it 280 into x so here it will be 280 then 0 will cancel 7 forza here it will be 960 into 70 over 20 0 cancel here will be 4 4 ones are 4 then here will be 0 240 so x is equal to 240 minutes 240 minutes that means 4 hours right in hours it will be 4 hours so this is how you have to solve this one then we have the third question third question find the third proportional so third proportional number one so let the third proportional is x let the third proportional let the third proportional is equal to x so therefore it means number one is 27 and 9 and x will be in continued proportion right these will be in continued proportion this will be in continued proportion so therefore 27 ratio 9 is equal to 9 ratio x so that means 27 over 9 is equal to 9 over x so that is 27 into x is equal to 9 into 9 so x will be 9 into 9 over 27 so 9 ones are 9 9 3 is a 27 3 ones are 3 3 is a 9 so x is equal to 3 that is the answer then we have to solve in this that is second one 2 meter 40 centimeter and 40 centimeter let the third proportion is x then 2 meter means 200 plus 40 ratio 40 is equal to 40 ratio x because the, these three are now in continued proportion x is the third proportion so this 240 ratio 40 is equal to 40 ratio x so 240 over 40 is equal to 40 over x 40 into x is equal to 40 into 40 so x is equal to 40 into 40 over 240 so it will be 6 and here 3 to the 6 3 to the 6 then 20 so this is 20 over 3 20 over 3 means x is equal to 6 into 2 over 3 that will be the answer okay next we solve the third one third question third one that is 1.8 and 0.6 again let 
x is the third proportional x is the third proportion so therefore 1.8 ratio 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.6 ratio x so these will be in a continuous proportion so it is be 1.8 over 0 0.6 that will be equal to 0 0.6 over x so 1.8 into x will be equal to 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 so x will be 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 over 1.8 so this will be 6 into 6 over 10 into 10 into 1.8 sorry this 1.8 will also be 18 and here we can multiply with 10 so 10 10 cancel 6 3 is 18 3 2 is a 6 so it is 2 over 10 2 over 10 means 0 0.2 so x is equal to 0 0.2 so this is the third part then fourth and fifth are left that you can do in the same way Let me solve the fourth one. Fifth one you can do 1 over 7 and 3 over 14. So let x is the third proportion. x is the third proportion. So therefore, 1 ratio, 1 over 7 ratio, 3 over 14 is equal to 3 over 14 ratio x so this will be 1 over 7 over 3 over 14 will be equal to 3 over 14 over x so here this ratio will change this will become 1 over 7 into 14 over 3 and this will be 3 over 14 into x over 1 Sorry, this will be in 3, 3 over 14 into x. So this will be 7 2 za. So it will be 2 over 3 is equal to 3 over 14 x. So this will be 14 x into 2 is equal to 3 into 3. So this will be 28x is equal to 9 and x will be 9 over 28 so this will be your answer 9 over 28 so next part fifth one that you can do by yourself this is simple one then fourth one find the mean proportional find the mean proportional so let the mean proportional is equal to let the mean proportional is equal to x so therefore 16 this is the first one 16 ratio x will be equal to x ratio 4 because this will be in 16 x and 4 will be are in continued proportion because x we have to take the mean proportion so it will these two terms will come in the mean positions so this will be 16 over x is equal to x over 4 so by cross multiplying this will become x square is equal to 16 into 4 so x is equal to, equal to 64 and x is equal to under root of 64 and x will be equal to square root 8 into 8 so x will be equal to 8 this will be the answer 
so in this way you can find the mean proportionals of others also like fourth uh, fourth you can do so decimal 0 0.6 the ratio x ratio double ratio x ratio 9.6 0 0.6 over x is equal to x over 9.6 sorry x x over 9.6 so x square is equal to x square is equal to 0 0.6 into 9.6 so x will be x square will be 0 0.6 0 0.6 into 9.6 we have to multiply then it will be 5.76 so x will be five point seven six square root that we have to find the square root also square root of 5.6 it comes out to be 2.4 plus 24 into 24 so x will be equal to 2.4 into 2.4 so x will become 2.4 so this will be the answer so in this, this way you can do the others also and the part will be done in the same way so rest 5 6 7 8 will do in the next video thank you